dark side. Two, one, zero. Right. Hello. Uh, welcome, uh, everyone, to Play Expo, but also welcome to this event, which is to mark the 35th anniversary of the release of Jet Set Willy. Um, my name's Paul Drury. Uh, I'm assisted, as I always am, by Martin Carroll, who does all the fancy things on screen. And we both write for Retro Gamer magazine. Now, our magazine has featured Jet Set Willy and its predecessor, Manic Miner, many, many times in its pages. And that's not surprising, because both those games are some of the best loved and most iconic titles from that whole 8-bit period. We're absolutely delighted to welcome the creator of those games, who is just as intriguing and unique as the games themselves. The one thing about Jet Set Willy is that it inspired people. Not long after the game was released, um, various tools came out so people could make their own versions of Jet Set Willy. Probably one of the first examples of a mod scene. And at the end of today's talk, you will have chance to vote on your favourite Jet Set Willy mod, as well as joining in on a quiz that tests your knowledge of Jet Set Willy with an exclusive Matthew Smith related prize. Someone here has been inspired to do more than just make a mod of the game. Italian director Paolo Sant'Agostino okay, has actually made a film um, all about Jet Set Willy and the main kind of part of today we will be seeing the premiere of that film. So without further ado, please could you give a warm welcome to Matthew and Paolo. <laughs> okay, chaps, okay. Uh, right, so uh, just to kick us off, Paolo, I'm, I'm, Paolo, I'm gonna start with you. Um, uh, Paolo, can you re recall the first time you actually saw Jet Set Willy? <coughs> yes, I was 11 years old in my home in Italy, and my brother, that is um, older than me, three years, he brought the, the, the game home. So we, we were already Manic Miner fan, so it was great to see the sequel. And uh, yeah, it was really exciting. What, what was yeah. like your first impression of the game? You said you were a Manic Miner fan. What was your first impression as you saw this was a very different kind of game? Yeah, I mean, what, what, what I think is special is, for me is, is the freedom. I mean, just the first time I was playing, I was like, okay, look, I want to see the house. I, want, I don't want really to collect all the items. So it was something like exploring more than have the mission of the game. So this, this was the first feeling of freedom I, ha I had with uh, video games in my life. And, was, and then this kind of freedom I, I later enjoyed with other games, uh, sandbox games, but this was the first one, so I, I was fell in love. <laughs> oh, your first love. Um, yeah. You mentioned that you want to explore the house. Yes. So does that mean that you made a map of the game? Was that kind of part of what you enjoyed? Yes, that's what the great thing, because we, we just start to, to draw maps. And it was incredible, because, you know, I, I don't think this analogic drawing maps is still something that children can do now. Maybe, I hope so, but... At the back the time was really great. I mean, it was something artistic that you, you make your drawings and you try to making a map. Of course, there was no internet or nothing, so you have to do it. And that was great. I wonder, sticking with that theme of maps, is that the kind of inspiration for you to eventually go on and make this film to kind of show the scale? of the game, which you don't always have that sense. When yeah, you that's, play that's what the starting point, because when I bought the mobile game version of Jesse Will and then I said, okay, I want, to, I want to start make again a map, because I didn't finish at the time. And then I said, okay, maybe I can try, you know, to build a, a living map with a computer. 
And that was the starting point from the movie, and you will see why. <laughs> you just alluded there, so yeah. you're telling me that you never actually finished Jet Set Willy back in the day. Yeah, I never finished the map as well. <laughs> yeah, you, were, you, weren't alone. you weren't alone on that one. Right. And uh, perhaps on that note, I'll come to the man that uh, created the, the game. Um, uh, Matthew, so you had finished Manic Minor in an uh, eight-week flurry of activity. Jet Set Willy took a lot. Um, well, well lot. The, the implementation was was the culmination of um, there, there, there was there's was, there was eight weeks eight weeks. That's uh, it. That's it. Sounds a bit That's it. You, you're on stage, right? Right. It, it was eight eight weeks uh, total implementation of like. Uh, but yeah, 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 a lot, a lot of the uh, actual design went on in that time as well because the the, the legwork I've done. Um, is, uh, yeah, eight weeks. Yeah, yeah, because because a lot, lot, of the, lot, lot of the, de uh, the the designs I've done prior to that, a lot of that wasn't used directly. So. So, when you actually came to start on Jet Set Willy, yeah. what was the original plan? Uh, well, the, the, the original plan was to, it was not, it was not going to be so much like that I, I, I fell back into doing something, um, yeah, you're basically reusing a lot of the manic, the idea of the manic, like the code for the manic minor engine just out of uh, convenience and necessity, path of least resistance and uh, yeah I can't, I can't say further than that and the, the um, actually Sable Wolf, what was it Sable Wolf? Could be Sable Wolf, yeah yeah. Uh, could be. Uh, didn't, no 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 no, there, there was Attic Attack. Yeah, yeah, the original, the original idea for Jet Set Willy would have turned out more like Acid Attack than it did like, instead of being an obvious follow-up to Manic Miner. Wow, so, hang on, you've not told me that before. So you're telling me that Miner Willy was originally not necessarily going to be in this mansion, it was going to be in a more kind of free environment to explore? Yeah, 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 in the sort of where, where they, they, they were in the original plan still had the path, the path was still going on. Oh, really? That yeah, cool. yeah. Tell us about some of the uh, process. I mean, were you literally drawing rooms out on graph paper, or were you just doing it all straight on screen? Uh, no, 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 it was all either drawn, either partly drawn on paper and then directly done in primary. But yeah, square paper was the was the, the best but I actually yeah I did a lot of the but the levels that I remember drawing on graph paper, drawing out on graph paper. All the boring all the boring empty screens in the, the middle of the left of the house where I was uh, uh, there is quite frankly a lot of rooms that are pure filler in the middle of the house. Uh, perhaps you could give us an idea of how development went. I mean, was it a smooth uh, process? I, I, I've been, I've been, I've been uh, uh, recommended by my therapist that I don't talk about that period of my <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I know I'm never here to celebrate the 35 years of uh, uh, Jet Set Willy, but if um, uh, not my memories of the of the development time are uh, not actually something that I have many fond memories of. I wonder, with this much distance, 35 years, is it possible for you to divorce your memories of that stressful time and actually appreciate the thing that you? Created. Well, um, I'm pretty, uh, no, it's, it's an old spectrum game. I mean, I, I, I mean, uh, 
Yeah, if I'm being honest, I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm not here to paint a rosy picture of uh, development hell. And um, uh, had I ever had I ever got paid for the effort, then like, I could I, I could uh, satisfy myself with that. <laughs> but it, it wasn't pleasant, and I didn't get paid. And celebrate that. <laughs> Sorry to send you back to that dark time, um, but on a brighter note, okay, so look, now we're going to watch the film. It lasts, I think, just under 40 minutes. It is beautiful. Um, at the end of that, I'm going to come back to our panellists and ask a couple of more questions, but then it'll be over to you. So if you'd like to ask either of them about the game, about the film, we'd love to hear from you. So now, please settle back while we watch Willie 48K About a Legend. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you everyone. And uh, just so I can do it officially, can we just have one more round of applause? Well done, Paolo, well done, Matthew, that's wonderful. Okay, I'm just going to ask the chat a few more questions and I'll open it up to uh, our audience. So first, uh, uh, Paolo, so that is the official world premiere yeah. of your film. I've always wanted With to Matthew, do this. With Matthew, of course. That's what's of course, important. I've always wanted to do this as if you're on the red carpet. Yeah. How do you feel? Good, good. How do you feel? You like it? I hope so. <laughs> Maybe. And, uh, uh, Matthew, it's, you like it? It's, uh, I mean. uh, it's, uh, uh, <laughs> six, six, and such. Top detail does does, does feel uh, horribly familiar <laughs> because uh, I, I, I was if I, if I'm if I'm totally honest I'm sorry. Uh, you can have my mind, don't you? You want to use this? Your cover, your cover. All right. Who did this? The the painting. Is Roger Tissiman? Is that right? All right. Uh, anyway, uh, Paolo, I, I want to okay. come back for you. Uh, it, at what point did you realise that you could use the game engine to actually make the film? Um, because I was playing with my editing software, Premiere, and I just record some rooms. And then I, you know, I put Willie, and then I cover him with a black. And then there was this empty room with the monster. So I say, okay, let's do all the 60 room like this. And then I was starting. We uh, we did hear some voices a lot. Some of them back in the day. Yeah, some Chris Cannon is here. Yeah. One of the lead boys, Chris. Chris Cannon, oh. there, who worked at Bug Bites and then Software Projects, followed Chris, there you go. So, could you tell us some of the other voices that we heard in that film, Power? Yeah, I, I don't remember all the names, so I'm just... But I take it from this uh, beautiful uh, documentary, Spectrum uh, Diamond, I you can see it in, uh, on YouTube. Keith Angel. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, Kate, it, yeah. I tried to write it, but he never answered me. Kate, yeah. Paolo, is there anyone that you would have liked to include uh, their voices in the film? Anyone that you just didn't quite manage to get hold of? Uh, actually, I want to... Uh, my, my dream was to have also, as you know, Clive Sinclair here with us. <laughs> That's uh, good. Uh, 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 you, uh, you, uh, yeah, but I took it from a BBC interview. Yeah, that's what. One more question, you should, Paolo. You should have had the quote for like, um, from the micro mentor, for Alexander Armstrong. <laughs> <says, yeah. laughs> yeah. Our life's work and all the remembrance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, that's a lovely memory, actually. Uh, Paolo, could I ask one more question? Yeah. Well, done for getting the, screen time. well done for getting the film done. Have you got any plans for it now? Are you taking it on tour or maybe a physical release? I don't know. I don't know yet. I hope, I hope to, you know, I, I don't want to talk also with the Jess at Willy fans. I, I would like to, you know, to talk with people that doesn't know 
nothing about these two games, Manic Man and Jesse Willy, so that's my goal. I hope to, you know, I'm, I have to find a uh, something, some help, of course. I, uh, I hope to find some people that can help me to bring this work. Well, if there's anyone in the audience, yeah, of come and find Paolo come. afterwards if you'd like to talk. <laughs> yeah. Matthew, I'm going to come so, to so uh, you're not tempted to put it on YouTube or anything? Yeah, I, I mean, not now because I want to try some festivals and then after, uh, yeah, of course, I want to put it on internet. Uh, Matthew, I'll, uh, Matthew, I'll come to you. Watching your game on the big screen like that, I just wondered whether you could appreciate it in a in a new light. No, no, no. Because I was looking, I was, I was, I was staring well, when I was when I was writing it and test, testing it. I was, I was staring at it. So it might, it might as well have been on a big screen like this. <laughs> just, it was, uh, I was staring at it that that hard and. Uh, um, yeah, and, 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 and this, the, the way this film it is, they, you end up, it doesn't feel like, when you step back and look at it as finished, when you only see one, when I only see one screen at a time, it's, it, it doesn't, doesn't give me this, yeah, I mean, seeing all the screens working together is actually, how it was, yeah, what was in my mind's eye as I was doing it. So it's, it is, it very much brings me back. Oh. If it if it'd been a really happy time writing it, then it was, this would <laughs> provoke, invoke happy memories. Uh, and unfortunately, Matthew, it, it just I, invokes memories. Okay. Um, you know, as one of the uh, voices on the documentary said yeah. that, that um, a friend, friends didn't recognise your talent, and neither did you. Is that um, true? Uh, I think uh, I, I, I think I was just 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 good at good at, good at faking modesty. No, no, because because they were, we're, we're very competitive. So uh, look, I, they would, um, we would show each other the game we wrote the night before, and then uh, say, so, oh well. Tomorrow I'll, I'll bring something better. I will bring a. So was it important that you were a part of a scene? Was it that <laughs> that community that actually helped Excuse you me. produce the game? Well, it's it's it's, it's it was always vital to be a, a member of an active software piracy community, or, or else <laughs> or else you couldn't afford the tools, <laughs> um, or, or even know where where which tools are available where. There's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the days before the internet, it was, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was yeah, it was vital to actually physically meet, because we couldn't even, uh, yeah, couldn't email, or, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, Chris and I, we did manage to, um, send Spectrum, yeah, Spectrum program across a telephone line. Um, well, before before you not we, using a modem. Yeah, no, no, no modem. Just 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 set out into the tape and uh, into the phone, and then save on one and load on the other. And we, and we, we got across the Mersey with that. And, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. Once never cease. Um, okay, I'm just going to ask you a few more questions, then I'll open it up here. I just wondered, Matthew, are you surprised that we are still talking about Jet Set Willy 35 years later? Did you expect that at all when you'd finished writing it? I, I, I can't say, no, 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 it was the, 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 uh, I think if I'd, if I'd managed, if I'd written to the third game, if I'd written 20 games, then the, the, the two that did, I did finish would be less significant, I think. If I'd, um, but maybe there'd be, it would be a footnote in a, It'd be the it would only be the first five minutes of this show. I'll put it that way. If uh, if any of the others had ever. 
Lastly, thank you very much. And so now it's time to open it up to you, the audience. I believe that my good friend Ravi there from the uh, the retro uh, has got a room in mind. Is that right? Uh, we'll have to share it. I'll bless it. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. So um, in the traditional method, if you could stick your hand up, if you'd like to, like, hey, there you go. If you'd like to ask Matthew or Paolo or both a question, and I will pass you this. Well, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you very much. As a 15-year-old boy sat in his bedroom in a six-week holiday, and to be able to see what I was actually playing without actually struggling playing, it was really nice to see all the rooms together. Not thinking the next two seconds I'm going to lose another life and have to start all over again. But no, it's just so nice that I've got such good memories and sadly you've got such bad memories of those times. Yeah, it was me. It was me. It was work. You know, that's the... You can have a rough day at work and it's... it's um, you get by by thinking about the money. And... Uh, and uh, yeah, it's so, but, but if you do the work and you don't get the money, then like, uh, yeah, the, the, the only memory you want to take away from that is how not to do it, is not to do it again. That's all I never did. <laughs> um, hi Matthew, I'm Murphy Spore. Really glad that you're not a rumour. <laughs> I'm surprised, I can tell you that. But um, I guess the one quick question I would like to know is um, what inspired you to create the characters for the game, including M Maria, Willie's housekeeper? I, I, I just drew them. I, they, 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 there's like uh, some archetypes and stereotypes. And, um, <laughs> and they... Uh, 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 Probably attached to institutionalised racism in the choice of uh, foreign sounding names. Uh, okay, let's move for on. The that. Servants, <laughs> for the servant classes. Before we get a Twitter storm, we've got one here, Maddie, and then we've got some in the back. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. You, really interesting, earlier you said that Jet Set Willy was some old Spectrum game. Right. Who's, talk, but, who's talking there? I can't. I can't. All right. I, but it, it's an old Spectrum game in, the, in just the same way that the Mona Lisa is an old painting of a woman, right? Yeah. So you remember that. Um, <laughs> so I just wondered, do, do you still play games? Uh, and if you do, what do you play? Uh, well, um, well, I, 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 when I'm when I'm uh, avoiding work for ten minutes, I'll play Spider Solace there. <laughs> with, uh, with, 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 with four, four seats, so to make it a proper challenge. And, uh, and uh, when I want to kill an hour, I, I go back and uh, play the same map I play all the time on Age of Mythology. Try a new strategy. Well, we're well, finding the same exact strategy I played a thousand times before. I know you, Paolo, are you still a gamer? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a gamer. Yes, yes, I, I like to, to play some indie games I like. Not so much, but some I really enjoy to play. And still a bit of Grand Theft Auto series. A bit of, because I, you know. But. Uh, most, most I, um, I had like this year when I was working on it, I was playing all my old, really old play games, also arcade games, and you know just to. While I was working on this, I was okay. I, I'm trying to remember that time, you know. So I played all the games of the 80s. It yeah, was I, really I, old and age. I, I never go back and play Spectrum games. Really. Yeah, but, yeah. Did you Till now? Did it the time then? <laughs> um, well, only until... Not, not, not if I could up the games on the Atari. I mean, the... Yeah, the... Um, that is... The, 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 there were a few Spectrum games worth, worth getting into, like school games. 
If you prefer, most Spectrum games could be were better on, on, on the Commodore and the Atari and whatever. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're losing the audience, Matthew. Oh. Yes, sir, another question quickly. Time out. Come and have a go. <laughs> <laughs> start a riot, oh. You love it, Elite, right? The, the Elite game? You no, love the, it? BBC Micro. Yeah. yeah. That's good. In the BBC Micro, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to racism. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hello uh, to uh, Matt and Paolo and Paul. Um, my uh, question is uh, directly to Matt. Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris. Sorry about this. Chris Cannon. Right. No, hello everybody, I just wanted to say, uh, mention Elite. I was the first Elite in the country. Well, okay, oh. thank you. Oh, <laughs> All right, oh, 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 that's good. Oh. <laughs> right. Thank you. Are we, uh, was that a question or was that just left talking about elite? <laughs> right. Right. Hi to everybody. Um, my question is directly to, uh, to Matt. Um, I'm the, uh, the author of the Atari conversion of Manic Miner. Oh. Um, I thought it would be uh, good for the game actually to uh, come full circle back to the Atari the platform that inspired it in the first place. Are you Shahid? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have met Shahid actually, but no I'm not. Um, the, uh, you famously wrote the game on the TRS-80 after instability. And I just wondered, being a programmer, where you actually got the hardware knowledge to uh, create the interface that you used. Well, well I actually got into computers via electronics. I was um, the... Um, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was uh, had a soldering arm before I had a computer. The, uh, but it's, it was, uh, it, it was out of necessity. I mean, it was, it, it was, it's very hard to, to, to keep the computer running without some amount of uh, electronics work back then. Okay, I've got three more questions. Here. This is Chris. Did Minor really ever get released? Who's that? Yeah. Did Minor really ever get released? Minor Willie? Yeah. What, Manic Minor? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, Manic Minor, yeah, the sequel, did it ever get released? The sequel? Yeah. No, no, Manic Minor was the first one, and that was released, and then Jet Set Willie. Then, um, well, there was going to be a third one, wasn't there? Uh, well, yeah, every, yeah, and, and a fourth and a fifth. Uh, the, the original plan was to, to write through two or three a year. And what happened? Um, I, 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 I didn't have enough money to write. And since since, since uh, I made some uh, bad business agreements and I couldn't afford to carry on after Jet Set really. So we've got a question over here. Thank uh, you. Just wondered, the copy protection uh, code sheet, that's sort of almost taken a, a life of its own, as, yeah, as you can see. Um, how did that come about? Because that was sort of a, a, a kind of revolutionary thing at the time. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we copied it from some, yeah, some American companies doing it first. And uh, there was, um, and, and you, you know it's never going to stop anyone determined, it's just, you know. <laughs> but it's, it, it, it's fun knowing that there's kids who sit the rice and copy and all that in my hand. I'm just going to take two more questions, which is for this chap and then there. Hello, uh, pleasure Hi. to meet you, uh, Matthew. Cheers. Uh, thanks for inspiring uh, lots of uh, games programmers over the years. Uh, may I just quickly ask whether you intend on um, extending Jet Set Really type game to the ZX Spectrum next? And if not, uh, can you be convinced? Uh, uh, well, I, 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 I have a game that uh, I've dug up that I'm developing that was... Uh, I was thinking about actually as a challenge 
actually porting it to, to the original, to an actual Spectrum. Um, it's, um, and I'm keeping in mind to keep it compatible with, uh, with the limitations. But uh, uh, at the moment, I'm, I'm going to have to do some sort of fundraising before I even get much further than that. Because they, 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 there's all the things, the, the costs of development. They say, oh, we've got a computer, that's all you need. And there's never that's all you need. There's, there's always like, you know, your, your mouse breaks and you've got to replace it. You know, if, you, if you haven't got an income, if you're just running down on, on savings and capital, then, uh, then it's, it's, it's even like you're faced with the choices. You, you, you either know you've got enough to finish development, that would be ideal. Or you have to you have to decide you'll get you'll get by somehow. Even though you can't see you can't actually see a clear path. And this is the uh, final question. Okay. Hello Max and thank you for gracing us with your presence today. Um, I'm I I'll stand, sorry. I'll try to. Um, I was on the team that did the Sam Coupe version of Manic Miner, so obviously I've been, always been a big fan of your work. Now, there were a few leaked um, images... Did, 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 you, I, I didn't give the source code to anyone. Did, um, I, did, or did you have to start from scratch? We started did you, from scratch. Didn't you, didn't you disassemble it at least? Well, I took apart your original work yeah. using the Spectrum plus the interface at the time. But it was my talented friend that uh, did all the donkey work. I just had to create them, help create them 40 levels for the game. <laughs> all right. Oh, that's got, oh, oh so, so you're in the mod competition? No, we created a release version of Manic Miner. Uh, anyway, as a quick question, one of the other people touched on, which of the planned sequels to Jet Set would you prefer to have seen released next? If all of them. Uh, by Christmas. So, <laughs> um, we've seen some leaked pictures of Megatree and so on. I mean, that looked fascinating. Was that one you, if you ever had the opportunity to go, that would be probably your first choice or one of the other ideas? Uh, well, uh, no, no, there's, uh, they're, 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 we, we were sort of embryonic planning stage when uh, that, that, that project got cancelled. Yeah. We, were, we were just thrown together. There's, there's, they said that those three like drinking, so let's stick them all somewhere where they can they can like bounce ideas off each other and stop disrupting the office. Uh, but but then they, after a while they decided they the 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 uh, yeah there was uh, it, it, it was I was I was. I was um, uh, I wasn't in charge of the process the software project, so so um, I think Jetson only really only got finished because I had most of the work done before we started software projects, if I'm honest. Okay, um, thanks uh, everyone, and I'm also stunned with how many people in the room have had some kind of involvement with Jetset Willy, which leads us nicely on to Paolo here, who is a huge fan of Jet Set Willy, not only has he made this beautiful film, he's been a fan for many, many years, is an expert in the mod scene and has selected five of what he considers the finest mods of Jet Set Willy. Now, well, um, actually, I mean, it was not easy to select just five. Because, eh? <laughs> so, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm now going to hand over to Paolo. We're going to uh, show a few a few minutes or so of each one. Paolo's going to say a little bit of the name of it and a little bit about it. All right. And then you're going to get your phones out or your laptops, your tablets, or a Commodore 64 with modem, however you get on the internet, right, and you're going to be able to vote for your favourite. So can I hand over now to you, Paolo, to introduce your top five? All right. So, actually, I had like 36 modes in my in my mobile phone and I, I played it the last year old and of course this, alright, <laughs> okay, 
We start with, uh, this is one of my favorites actually, I don't have to say that. But, uh, Stop influencing the vote. Uh, okay, but it's just a feeling. I mean, it, it's not that it's better than the other four, but the, some, the feeling I had with this game, it was special. But anyway, this is from, uh, uh, all right, Maria's Revenge was made in 2004 by Matt Doty from UK and uh, yeah I mean all the mods I selected and something like you have to keep the level that meant you did with the with the original one that means keep the fun to play the gameplay the level design everything has to be you know, unique. Can, can we just make something clear? So that you can see a lot of the game, this is speeded up, right? This is, of course. This is not, not minor willy on amphetamines. It's don't play it's just like speed this. speed it up. Okay, so that was Maria's Revenge. Sorry. Yes. Back. Okay, the Bug Slayer. The Bug Slayer was, was uh, made by Jeff Eddy. Gaff Eddy in the 2002 and also this is uh, yeah it introduced new mechanics as well that's what I like uh, mechanics in the game but also mechanics in the transform wheel in other things and of course was really fun to play A lot of memory tributes to other games they are always in mods. Batman actually was a tribute also in the Manic Miner. <laughs> okay, join the jazz set. It's Richard here. All right, we have one mother here. <laughs> Okay, you want to say something about your mind? Can, can we're, we're lucky enough to actually have the person who's wrote this one here. Don't let that influence your vote. <laughs> but there you go. So, please do let it influence your vote. Uh, this was actually written in 1985, so only a year or two after the original. Um, I guess of the five that you're seeing today, this is the least adventurous because the later ones did lots of clever things with the engine. All I did with this one that was innovative, shall we say, was to uh, rewrite the in-game music and I had a choice of ten tunes that you could play in the background instead. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, but uh, this, I think, was fairly instrumental in getting the Jet Set really mod scene off the ground in the first place because I released it onto the internet in the mid-90s, about 10 years after I'd done it, and it showed that someone could produce a complete and playable game uh, that captured at least some of the spirit of the original and was fun and easy to explore. Uh, thank, you, mate. thank you, Richard. Thank you. All right, Jess said Will again was made by Philip B. And actually, Philip and Richard I know them because there was this interview in a Spectrum Diamond documentary. So they they are both have some interview in that documentary. That's why I, I know them. And then eventually I play their mods, and of course uh, I like them. I actually received a mail from Philip finally just one week ago. So I'm happy to have a contact with him. Yeah. Okay. We can say the name? No, we cannot say the name. <laughs> I can. Okay. Maria, we have some bastards. All right. Okay. Okay. And this is, uh, there are not a lot of more that you play Maria. This is really interesting because you can see uh, beautiful graphics and there is a lot of also new mechanic in this game. This is also really nice. And if you press zero on the title screen, then you have another mini game inside the game when you play the robot of 
manic, the, of the first queen of manic minor. So it's really incredible in just 48k of memory this this mode. And it was made by Vidar Eriksen from Norway in the 2001. So those yeah. are the five that you're going to be able to vote on. So please now, can you take out your device to get on to the internet? And please, can you direct your browser to... Oh, now left, now for Play Expo Manchester yeah. for the Saturday. Get in your favourite games on your favourite machines while you can. Don't forget we have the retro section, the arcade machines, the LAN gaming area, and so much more. Okay. So check it you out. You need to go back. To go back. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's what. Right, okay, everyone. Please take your phones out. Um, and you will be able to join in the quiz with your phones as well. So, can you direct your browser to www.menti.com? Uh, once you've done that, it will ask you to enter a six digit code, which is 517051. So, um, if you could do that, you'll know it's worked because you'll hopefully see that screen on your. Uh, uh, phones or tablets or whatever else you're using. Of course, oh god, we've got a decent amount of uh, voters here. Um, I'll just do that. Uh, okay, so we've got the five mods to phone uh, to vote on. And please, can you keep your phones out because then we're going to do a quiz with a special prize as well. So uh, there you go. God, we've got over 50 people. So there you go. Uh, okay, so uh, now it's time to vote. So Martin, would you click on? to the next screen and hopefully you'll be able to vote on one of the five. So please use your democratic right and away you go. I don't think we're going to yes, require yes. a second referendum on this one, thank God. Uh, so, uh, I'm very honoured to say congratulations to... Do you want to read his name out? Because <laughs> you've got it written on. But the author... It's a pity because I don't have the mail of, the, of Vida to say <laughs> he was the winner, but yeah, it's a great mod. Thank you. Maria vs. Sambadis. <laughs> okay. Maria vs. Sambadis is the winner. So thank you very much. If you have got a Spectrum emulator, you might want to revisit that mod and the other four and all the other hundreds that have made such fantastic use of the Chester Wheelie really engine. Uh, okay. <coughs> you, you, you'll find it. You'll find it. I'm telling you, you'll find it. Uh, okay, so please keep your phones out. Now we're going to have, we're going to finish the event with a quiz. So, uh, Martin, can you click on to the next uh, slide? Okay, so here's the, there's going to be eight questions. Um, most of them are about Jetset, really, some about the spectrum in general. They do start reasonably easy and get ridiculously hard. Um, what you'll see is that you've got to get the answer right, but if you get the answer right, you get more points for how quickly you answer. And there will be a prize, a special exclusive prize for the winner. So, do you want to click onto the next screen, Martin? We've got only got oh, 52. Next. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So let's just hopefully those people can. If you just pause a second, right? God, 90. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Right. Okay. So are you ready? Question one. Okay, where we go? What was the name of the housekeeper in Chester Way? I hope you were paying attention. Too easy. <laughs> they get a lot harder, Paolo. You okay, see. Okay. It's gone. Yay! Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Um, yes. Well done. It is indeed Maria, based on the uh, the Greek woman with some casual racism who worked across the road from the offices. Uh, okay. I can assure you they get harder. Okay. Question number two. the iconic cover art for the original release of Jet Set Willy, pictured here. And if you listen, it was actually mentioned yeah, we, in the yeah, we mentioned. Bob Wakelin, Roger Tizzyman, Dave Rowe. 
Oh, we caught a few people out there. Except we haven't clicked him <laughs> That's probably bollocks. <laughs> that was it. It was Roger Tizzyman. No. Why has that happened? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's pretend that never... To be fair, this is a Jet Set Willy quiz, so if there wasn't a bug in it, that wouldn't be very authentic, would it? <clears throat> okay. Bloody hell, I hope the other one's all right. Okay, we'll soon find out. Uh, okay, in what year was the ZX Spectrum first released? Please make this work. Yes, it works again, okay. Yes, it was indeed 1982, um, along with that other beige machine called the Commodore 64. But that's not important right now. Let's see where that leaves the leaderboard. Oh, it's very, very close there. Okay, so, oh, by a whisker, it's Mick. Uh, okay, so on to question number four. Uh, what? This is great. What is Sir Clive Sinclair's middle name? Moles, Ruel, or Feth? Yes, it is Moles. In case you were wondering, Ruel is the middle name of, uh, one of the middle names of J.R.R. Tolkien, and Feffel is the middle name of Boris Johnson. Three good working class lads, as you can probably tell. Uh, okay, so I think that's mixed it up at the top. So well done, Christopher Dean. You are just, all by fraction in the lead. Okay, next question please, Martin. Jesse Willie appeared on the 1985 They Sold a Million compilation with Beachhead, David Thompson, Decathlon, but which other game? Saber Wolf, Ant Attack, 3D, Death Chase. Well done, well informed. Perhaps you owned it. Okay, that may have mixed things up. Let's have a look. This is changing hands a lot, so well done Stephen Richard, you're out in front there, okay? And I think we've got, if I'm curious, have we got two questions left? I'm trying to remember. Ah, issue 13 of your spectrum contained a listing which added a 61st room to the game. But what was it called? Zombie Flesh, Beige Nightmare, or April Showers? Well done, yes. It was indeed uh, April Showers. And I think as we move into the final question, oh, that has mixed things up. My God, well, this is more exciting than the Premiership. Uh, okay, and we're on to the very final question. So, uh, good luck, everyone. Oh, actually, we're not. This is a seven. How many different colour codes were on the copy protection card which came with the game, which I'm wearing? 128, 180, 212. Oh, I thought that would be difficult. Uh, it's actually 180, it goes from A down to R, and then it's 0 to 9 across the top. So yeah, ooh, let's see who got that right. Ooh. So as we go into, this is the last question, I'm sure. Uh, we have, oh, it's very, very close with everyone on the leaderboard there. So the very final question. Okay, so it's about Crash Magazine. In issue four of Crash Magazine, what percentage score did Jet Set Willie receive? 95, 97, 99. Yes, it was 95%, okay. And actually, if you click the next slide before we do the uh, results, this was, uh, we found issue four of Crash. Matthew's actually still got it in his house. And um, this is what it said. Jet Set Willie is a high point in the development of the Spectrum game. I hope there will be others. Oh God, there was. But maybe ones of a different kind, but I'm sure nothing will top this game for addic addictivity. Addictivity? No, I can pronounce that. Uh, that's not a word, actually. <laughs> that's why I can't pronounce it. Fluent graphics, responsiveness, and sheer imagination. The nightmare quality of the events suggests its author should be receiving therapy. Instead, he's probably rich. 
good luck to him. I'm not sure about the lines before, but I would definitely endorse all the bits that say good luck to him and what a high point Jeff set really, really was. I think it's time to see the results. Okay, so the overall winner, it all from nowhere, is Dobler Monkey. Dobler Monkey, will you come to the front? So we come. I'll just uh, explain the prize. Um, a couple of years ago, a chap called Walter Day, who's involved with Twin Galaxies, produced some trading cards. And uh, with Retro Gamer magazine, we got uh, various British icons uh, to have their own trading card. There you go. And yes, Matthew was one of the icons. This is the last one. There was only 30 printed. So um, that's for you. Can we have a round of applause? Have you got a real name? Not what your mum knows you as. Nick. Nick, thank you very much. Now because because at our events everyone are winners is that whilst we, that is actually the last um, that is actually the last uh, Matthew Smith trading card. But I love you, so I've always also brought loads of Sir Clive Sinclair cards. So if I take them to the end, as you go out, if you would like a less than limited edition Sir Clive Sinclair training card. Please take one with our regards. Okay, so I'm just going to say some thank yous. First, to my fantastic friend and uh, fantastic specky boy, and Jesse Willie, he's actually your favourite game, isn't it, Martin? So first, give a big round of applause for Martin! He's always with me, and we will be back next year doing something. So, also, a big thank you to Andy and all of the Play Expo team. Um, a big thank you to uh, Darren and all the Retro Gamer team for giving us work. So uh, please keep doing that, okay? Uh, obviously, a massive thank you for you to come in. Thank you, I can't name it, but thank you for the person that gave me this shirt. You know who you are, I'm very grateful. And the biggest thank you is to Paolo for his wonderful film. Let's hear it. And of course, to Matthew Smith, without him, we won't be sitting here watching that wonderful thing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the show. We'll see you next year in something. I'll put these cards at the back. Thanks, Paul, for hosting, of course. Thank you, mate.